Oh. Nice. That's very Ruby D of you. I got, I got mine. Oh. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you do. I got, I got one attached to my face. I'm Ariana Grande. We talked about this. Um, it's really, my, my approach is usually inception. It's like I tell you something and I hope that it just permeates your life. I think that's sort of what Dave has done. Like we asked him all the time, like, what do we do with this? Like, why are you, we going through this? And he never answers straight. Um, and to me, it's like quality over quantity. Like, think about it. The first time it's like, oh, he's only affecting you know, 16 people. That's not a ton. But 30 years and the, the type of impact he has, and now those people are like spread across the world and are in different spaces. And I think, to me, it's like, uh, at some point in the future, you're going to run up against something, a conflict, and you're going to think about it differently because someone has primed you. Um, but as far as a real assignment, I don't know. Go talk to a stranger. Go, like that moment where you feel uncomfortable, where you're like, I'm really outside of my element, like dig into that. Because you know, life isn't about being comfortable. It's like chasing these moments where you feel really uncomfortable. What was my favorite talk? Um, I helped invite these guys called the Story Pirates. And the Story Pirates are a professional crew of uh, improv performers. I mean, then they partner with folks from like SNL and like Jon Stewart comes on. And what they do is they perform stories written by kids. <laughs> right? So imagine, like, I remember the stories I wrote when I was in second grade. They're crazy. They're wild. They're about like the blob monster that eats robots for breakfast. And you're like, what the hell? And these guys, they perform it, and the mission is to just blow kids' minds. And um, Jamie Salka, he, uh, he, he comes up and he speaks and he's pretty nervous and he hasn't done this sort of thing before in, in this context. And he's speaking and you're like, oh, I, got, you know, I hope, the, the, I hope you know, the rubber meets the road, like he gets to talk. And all of a sudden, I just, you feel like it, his heart just like drops, not in a bad way. It's just like it comes out of his stomach, right? And he just starts speaking the truth. He just starts... He's so passionate. Maybe there's a tear coming out, right? And to me, like, those are the moments, right? To, you can have the most polished talk, and it's great, and you can get your wisdom and your snippet, and you go, and it's like, oh, I got this inspirational tidbit. I will keep that and put it in Evernote and maybe lose it. But these other ones where you watch someone, I don't know, maybe come into their being on stage, like, that's an experience. So Jamie Salka, Story Pirates. And they also performed that day. It was crazy. <laughs> What's the biggest lesson I learned on my world tour? Something I did on this trip, and it was a total luxury, was I spent a lot of time doing nothing. Um, and I, I didn't leave Creative Mornings and know what I was going to do next. There was no job. Like, I talked to a lot of people, and I, was, I wanted to leave open-ended. And um, I was thinking, you know what? I'm probably going to have all this time where I'm going to sit down. I'm going to think really hard about what I'm going to do. Right? I'm going to have all this time. I'll write my notebook, and I'll listen to 500 Days Summer Trash soundtrack, and it'll be like old times again. Um, and really, there were moments where I would just like, I was sitting in uh, the cathedral in Notre Dame in Paris. I sit there for like two hours, just staring into space um, and doing nothing. And I forgot about all this other stuff, which was amazing. And you know, when I came back, I didn't, if someone asked me what I really wanted to do, I, you know, I, I didn't have my immediate answer, but I was clear in my head, and when I started talking to people about the options, like where that alignment is, because you can know what you want to do, but it's also about who's going to hire you to go do that. Like, you've got to find that Venn diagram. The moment I started looking at the opportunities, I was able to make those decisions like really quick. Like, I, I knew. Um, so, for me, one big takeaway is if you have a really tough decision to make and you have the luxury of some time to do it, um, try to do whatever it is that you zen out and do to forget about that stuff. Um, whether that's, I don't know, yoga or watching movie. Well, I mean, not watching movies. Like, get somewhere where you, like, can zone out and just, just be for a little bit.